Hello third grade friends, welcome to our note taking lesson today on our plants. We have been talking all about classifying plants this week. We have focused yesterday on our non-flowering plants after we talked about flowering plants earlier this week. Yesterday we learned about the conifer and that the conifer has those seeds from cones and that is what helps them reproduce and that they are in mostly mountains. Today we learned about ferns, so I'm going to go ahead and open to my third flap here about ferns. And if you remember when we talked about spores earlier, when we talked about structures, ferns reproduce using spores. And remember, spores grow on the underside of the leaf and they release into the air, which then germinates to grow a new fern. Now, when that fern starts to grow, it's, remember, all curled up. In fact, I'm going to draw a little picture here of it all curled up, and it is called a fiddlehead. And this is an answer to one of your questions today. A young fern, when it's still kind of curled up, almost like a little nine, is called a fiddlehead. We talked about ferns like to grow in warm damp, so that means they like to be wet, shady places. They do not like to be in that hot sun. They like to grow in warm, damp, shady places. And this is going to be a question or an answer to one of your questions today. So ferns do not make flowers, so therefore they do not make seeds, but instead they have spores their spores release. When they germinate, they grow into what's called a fiddlehead and then eventually a large fern. Remember that they have those fronds, which are the full leaf piece before we put the little leaves on it. So that's what we call those fronds. All right, today we learned about ferns. Next time we come together, we're going to talk about moss, liverwort, and hornwort.